Good evening. This is Corey with the Painted Peacock. Tonight we are doing Little Chickadee on a Lamp Post. It is a winter scene, and so I wanted the sky to be a little bit gray. Gray is kind of a tricky color to work with, as it paints on one color, and once it dries, it is considerably darker than you anticipated. My lamp post wanted it to be light, and so I am blocking out with white the size of my glowing part of my lamp. I kept trying to do a lighter yellow in the center of this to indicate the center of the light, but the struggle was real. I decided to move on. Just outlining the ironwork of my lamp in that central post. but I'm still trying to get that little white glow. And eventually I do actually move on. I will often use my fingers as a measuring tool to determine how tall or how wide something is going to be visually before I apply the paint. Applying a little bit of snow here. And using a dark green and a flat one inch brush and creating my pine boughs. The right amount of water and uh, pressure that is lifted will give you that nice pointed pine shape. Adding a little fluff to my snow so it wasn't quite so smooth. Now I'm gonna do a little black hooded chickadee. They're one of my absolute favorites. I think they're the most darling birds. While my bird dries, I'm going to put a little snow clinging to my pine boughs. By adding some of the white in the middle, it does give that appearance of depth that is lost a little bit with just the green. And while that dries, I'll move on to my chickadee. Whenever you are creating something from life and you want it to look as complete as possible using a reference photo is the most important thing you can do tiny little beak and eye just a little tweaking here and there i'm gonna do some little berries using a very thin brush i've created some twigs and using the back of a large brush it makes for really easy berries Using a toothbrush and some watered down white, I can flick the toothbrush to make some snow. And here is our completed piece. Thank you so much for joining me and have a lovely day.